You love your daddy? Yeah. Yeah, how much you love daddy? A lot? You want love this, this much or this much? Daddy, yeah, I know, I thought so. <laughs> All right, guys, so a little bit, uh, when we started the studio, the idea was to do a Black Rifle Coffee podcast. Oh, daddy. oh. I love you, I'll see you soon. All right, kisses real quick, and then you have to go upstairs, baby. Kisses. <laughs> Huggy, hug. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. All, right. All right, guys. So one of the reasons that we started the studio here is kind of optimize my time, but selfishly, I wanted to be able to do all the things that I do. The Black Rifle Coffee podcast, the Phil Craft survival content that we bring to you on YouTube, as well as my personal YouTube channel, the Mike Glover Actual channel. Everything that we do for the most part is filmed here in a studio that has a couple of setups, but for the convenience of me spending time with my family. I mean, a lot of this stuff that I did the first few years of business, I mean, first five years of business, uh, kept me on the road. But after I had kids, man, I, my heart goes out to guys who deploy and are away from their families. I just don't want that life. And so a lot of the stuff that I built down in my basement is because I wanted to spend time closer to home with my kids. So this is a little bit um, of the studio and, and kind of the backdrop for Philcraft. What I want to do now is take you kind of to the heart of Philcraft, which is the shipping fulfillment area that we do a lot for other businesses as well, not just Philcraft Survival. So if you order a shirt from Jack Carr, if you order a first aid kit from Philcraft Survival, this is where it comes from. All right, so we're here at um, shipping and receiving. It's also where we do third party fulfillment. Not a lot of people know that we do third party fulfillment. We don't advertise because we don't want the extra business. We typically do it for partners and those type of relationships. But if you order, for example, a hat from Jack Carr, uh, who's a good friend of ours, you will get that received from here. If you order a, um, a remote control truck from X Overland, that truck, which I bought one recently, I just picked it up because it's shipped from here as well. So let's take a look. So just coming through here, uh, we have our shipping and fulfillment for everything that Philcraft Survival does. But like I said, we do third party as well. Uh, the key takeaway is uh, a lot of the things that you order from Philcraft are coming from here direct, but they're also manufactured in the back end. There's a lot of things that we can't make. I mean, I can't make a first aid kit. Um, but we go through the experts who source the best first aid equipment. It's brought here, it's packaged here, and then sent to you. So let's do a little tour. Um, like I said, with Jack Carr stuff, like if you order a t-shirt, hats, any of the swag and stuff, you're getting it from off the shelf at Philcraft. And if you're ordering anything from, you know, beanies to uh, hats, all that inventory is kept up here. We have boxes of inventory in the back, but everything's cleanly put here so we can make sure we don't screw up your order. You don't want to do that. So have this facility on the front end and then on the back end, have a whole bunch of our boxes and stuff that are held here for inventory. Um, X Overland stuff. So if you guys get anything from these guys, make sure you follow those guys. The best in the Overland community, guys that mentored us a lot when we started to get into this space. The OGs, as they would say. Like if you're getting a, a shirt manufactured, we try to do all that fulfillment in-house. It's not easy, guys. Like fulfilling in-house is upside down until you get at a certain point in scale. But for us, doing the eight-turn carousel of shirts um, was something that we wanted to do because we wanted to have control and we didn't want to depend on other people, especially when it came to an error, like customer service wise, we want to make sure everything was squared away. So um, everything from the printing of the shirt, uh, the heating, uh, the customization is done here in house. We also have embroidery over here. We have laser engraving all kinds of like niche small things like these hats are, are put together here in house. We take two different components um, and then blend them together, but handle the finishing 
manufacturing process here. We also are migrating a lot of our equipment outside of China. We're done operating with China. We're moving to South Africa, Vietnam, and America. Um, we are committed to helping, just like I'm wearing these Origin jeans. As a consumer, I'm committed to trying to buy Ameri American made. So as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, I want to do everything I can to migrate business to Americans. That includes the shirt that you're wearing from Philcraft Survival being made here in America. So we're working with Origin, uh, and we're also working with a company um, that does just all USA manufactured shirts with cotton spun, picked and spun here in America as well. A lot of the new stuff that we're doing, um, what you don't see is in distribution, we'll be distributing a lot of our water, whether it's a, a retail location or selling direct to consumer, we ship in the product here and then distribute it to where it needs to go. This is our everyday water. Um, why would we do water? We're a survival company. Water is a staple of survival. It's also aluminum cans, which is uh, on purpose. We wanted to do aluminum because it's got a longer shelf life for survival. Um, also, um, we could cheat and put a QR code on it to educate people who are not interested in preparedness, but they want to get hydrated and also link them to education to get them further prepared or further educated. So this is our way of broadly marketing and providing value to the consumer. So Philcraft Everyday Water, which is pretty cool. Um, on the back end of this, we do laser engraving. We do a little inventory supply, but this is a very large facility. It doesn't seem large because I'm, you're close to me. This is about 12,000 square foot. Uh, we have plenty of vertical space to grow. Uh, and then the final component to this is obviously HQ. Now I do have a corporate office. I'm not gonna show you my corporate office, but it's where all my full-time employees work, times 15 employees. Um, at headquarters, that's our retail, retail location and also a place that we wanna provide education and community events to bring people together. So let's go over there. It's funny. Um, some of these guys, I recognize their names, but there's so many names on here. These are all the people that have trained with us or attended a community event. Now, Heber City, Utah has a population of almost 17,000 people. Um, it's co-located with Salt Lake City, which has a metropolitan population of about 1.2 million people. Not a lot of people compared to big cities in big states. I mean, this, this is very small in comparison but we had a lot of people train throughout the last couple of years that we've been here in Heber City at this venue. Heber City Utah HQ has primarily a place for bringing people together over community events like Responsible Citizen, which we do right here every single Wednesday, both in Heber City Utah and Aberdeen, North Carolina, Philcraft HQ in North Carolina. We provide free classes to the public. That's part of our public service um, to our community, our backyard. It's law enforcement officers, it's experts, it's nurses, it's doctors, giving back and teaching, what, providing education for free to the community. That's CPR, canning, jarring, self-defense, um, all the things. Uh, we also do full training courses here. My staff uh, next week will be doing winter survival. Uh, I'll be teaching a course the following weekend that has to do with personal security and self-defense considerations. I actually teach that with a law enforcement officer who's an expert at the legal protocol and things you should do post self-defense act. All those are done right here in the back end, which is 5,000 square foot in Heber City, Utah. Let me take you to the front end, which is our pro shop. And this is what I'm most excited about with Philcraft Survival and the future. Because, you know, how does a company that specializes in training and education and products evolve? It's very difficult to do, guys. If you own a training business, you know this. More people considerably increases a lot of problems in trying to staff, man, manage. But when we look at um, our business model, a lot of the progression and scale has to do with the retail play. And let me explain. So the three areas of focus we focus on is one, EDC, hunting, and mobility. Those are all really 
tangible things that we teach in education and training for Fieldcraft Survival. And we also offer the product lines. I mean, everything from a mobility bag for loading out in your vehicles to our panel pack that goes on the back of your uh, seat, uh, both passenger and driver. I mean, I think about a lot of people who passed away in New York and Erie County, and a lot of them passed away because they didn't have the equipment inside their vehicle to survive an extended period of time. Some of those people were in their vehicles for 18 hours, only being minutes away from salvation. Like one gal, 22 years old, died six minutes from her house inside of her vehicle when police were not able to respond to her. That's tragic, but we need to be better prepared for that. So we wanna offer the retail solutions, but I also wanna bring things from partners and affiliates that we work with, like Jack Carr, like Eris Watches, like Andy Stumpf. These guys coming together and collaborating, we've already done that together in other realms. I want us to expand into retail together. Black Rifle Coffee is gonna be available here. And also for the first time, we're gonna be selling firearms. Now, our firearm selection is not going to be large like Shields or Sportsman's down the road. We're gonna provide EDC solutions, Glocks, the SIGs, the ones that we recommend because we have a lot of time behind them, but also all the components and accessories for EDC. Same thing with hunting. I want you to be able to come into Philcraft and get the SIG Cross, get the Benelli shotgun, get the things that are right for you to get into a more self-reliant lifestyle. And last but not least, the objective for the retail is to provide you with education and a place to build relationships in your own community. A lot of places don't offer that. I think Bass Pro historically was the first company I remember going to as a kid in retail that brought professionals in, subject matter experts in. They would bring the fisher or the angler in and they would demonstrate um, the special bait that they were promoting and they would put it into the tank and you would see the bass hit the bait and you're like, man, this is awesome. You could ask the expert questions, but where does that exist now in retail? I don't think it does. So community events that we offer, responsible citizen, but also educational courses will continue to expand. I plan to do my book signing in both Black Rifle Coffees and Philcraft Survival Pro Shops, but offer other authors as well, like Jack Carr, like Amanda Ripley, who, who's the author of Unthinkable, or one of my favorite books, Deep Survival. Those authors like Lawrence Gonzalez, who set and paved the way in preparedness for me, running a preparedness company, I want you to have access to them. So the overall goal and objective for the retail play is to bring people together over this idea of preparedness. Now let me walk you upstairs so you can see kind of the uh, office spaces that we're working with and some places that we do some of the educational segments of our classes. First, let me show you this. This is pretty important to me. Um, a guy who I, who I didn't know very well donated this. Um, this is Ben Bittner, who my son's named after, who was one of my best friends in Special Forces that was killed in combat in Afghanistan. This is actually his uniform. When I served with him in Special Forces, in 3rd Special Forces Group, this is the uniform that he wore. This is the uniform we wore. Uh, a little tribute to Ben Bittner. We're gonna get a picture up there with me and Ben and telling his legacy and his story because that's how we keep the legacy of these guys who served and sacrificed alive. Get you get to work. Now, an important element to this is <laughs> <laughs> a per important element to this is you gotta have Philcraft dogs. So we have Tubu there, it's Tofu for if the English version. Um, but we, we uh, wanna have a key leader engagement piece, but we also have corporate events here. We have leadership seminars here. And we also have, like I said, the professional key leader engagement with companies. One of the things that we've done very well as a company is interoperating with the best companies in America. Yeah, there's this whole thing where it's like, ooh, you're a corporate guy, because you, yeah, I'm a corporate guy, because I own a business, so I own a corporation. So I'm a capitalist, I believe in business and entrepreneurship. I grew up in it on the Korean side of my family. That, that was their path to self-reliance and also independence, right? That security, that American dream. I'm living that. So I want to partner with good companies like SIG, like Black Rifle Coffee Company companies that represent my values, but also are doing their best to help people, including bringing business back to Americans. Every SIG pistol that you carry 
was made in New Hampshire in America. That's impactful for me. So yeah, I'm gonna be affiliated with companies and the thing that we've done very well is partnered with the right people and the right companies. So that's where all that magic happens here. We also do a little bit of um, uh, education, but also content for both the Locals channel, which is our subscription model, and American Contingency. You can go to AmericanContingency.com if you want to be part of our community movement, which is one of the most important missions that we do at Philcraft Survival. Um, there's some admin stuff over here in this section, so I won't bore you with that. There's a small classroom here where we do both land navigation as well as bushcraft survival. And we also have access to Kafaru, one of our business partners, 2,500 acre range where we do defensive training, bushcraft training, and also our mobility experience, which is our three-day course, which is actually at the end of January if you're interested in signing up. If it's not sold out, we will host another one, which is typically me and Mike Hernandez, my mobility guy, here in the near future. Um, also, we have a, the corporate office, like I told you about, but Aberdeen, North Carolina. I intend to scale, and part of that scale and part of that plan is going into Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas at a place called Gritter. Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, is a great market for us because there's freedom loving Americans there. And we've partnered with Gritter Sports to be able to provide uh, both indoor and outdoor training. And we have a small retail section there as well. Also, what we plan to do is bring some of our retail and some of our experience to Andy Stump's Black Rifle Coffee in Kalispell, Montana. Now guys, the ultimate objective of me for me showing you around is a lot of people think I'm Philcraft. I'm certainly, heading and leading Philcraft from a business perspective. But a lot of what I do is media, content, and education, but I am not the subject matter expert in everything. We have programs like Program 62 with Amber, who's a stay-at-home mom who's been homesteading and homeschooling her children her entire life. She grew up on a farm. The things that she teaches through education as a nurse, as a practitioner of the lifestyle of self-reliance are the education and experts that we bring into you. So it's not just me. There are many people, Kevin Owen, Sean Kirkwoods, all of our experts, Kevin Estella, who's a bushcraft expert at survival. I had to find the expert because you'll never find me naked and afraid in the woods. Kevin's always naked and afraid in the woods. He's the guy, he's the guy who can get you through it. Um, look at Philcraft survival in 2023 as the conduit to the experts to provide you education, training, and equipment. That's what Philcraft's all about. Guys, I left some links down below. Subscribe, hit the notification tab, all that good stuff to support us. I appreciate that support, but also make sure you click the link and subscribe to our newsletter because that's how you get a hold of us and that's how you get the notification and you're the first to know whether it's courses, education, or things that we're doing across the country because we're doing a lot. Make sure you subscribe to that. Until next time. Peace out, guys.